Welcome back to the course. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the components for our GPS locator app. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is drag a label into the top of the components viewer. And I'm going to change that so it says record current location. And I'm going to change that font size so it's a little bit easier to see. And the next thing we're going to do is set up our labels for the GPS coordinates and all the information that the user is going to see when they're using this app. And our next step here is to add a few labels that will house some of the information that the user of the app is going to see. And then we're going to make that change as they record their location and request to be taken back to that location. So I'm going to start by adding a horizontal arrangement here under the screen arrangement drawer. I'll go back to the basic palette and add two labels to this horizontal arrangement. And the first one I'm going to call address. And the second one is going to be called unknown. Next, we're going to add another set of labels, and this is going to house our current location geographical coordinates. And so I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to add a horizontal arrangement. This time, however, I'm going to add four labels. One, two, three, and four. In the first label, I'm going to call this GPS. In the second label, I'm going to add our first coordinate value, which in this case is going to be zero. And then I'm going to add a comma to separate the geographical coordinates. And then I'll put another zero in for the last one. And lastly, for this section, I'm going to add a button. And on the button, I'm going to say, record my current location. And I'll just go ahead and make that font bold on that button. So now when the user presses this button, it's going to record the current location. And just so you know, you can use this app to do a lot of things, but the basic concept is to use it for something like parking your car in a big parking lot or a parking garage. As you get out of your car, you can press this record my current location button. And then when you're ready to go back to your car, after we fill out the next part and add the blocks, you'll be able to hit another button that will bring up a Google map that will walk you right back to your vehicle. Now we're going to add the second half of our components, and it's going to be virtually the same as what we've already included right here. But again, the idea is to set it up so the user can press the next button we're going to put down here and have their phone's GPS take them back to the location they recorded here. So let's go ahead and add another label. And this one I'm going to call Remembered Location. Go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. And by the way, for the sake of time in this video, I'm not relabeling all of these components. I will do that before this video ends, and I'll allow you to pause the video and take a look at what I'm relabeling these so that when we get to the blocks editor, we're both on the same page. And our next step is to add another screen arrangement. We'll add a horizontal arrangement here. Go back to the basic palette and pull in two labels. And the first label I'm going to name address just like we did above and for the second label I'm gonna label that unknown now let's add another screen arrangement we'll grab a horizontal arrangement go back to the basic palette and pull in again four labels And the first one we're going to call GPS. Second one in this case is actually going to be 0.0, .0 for the geographical coordinates. We'll put a comma spacer in there in the third label. And for the last label, we'll do another 0.0. .0. And the last thing we're going to do in the components section is add one more button. And we're going to call this one Show Directions from Current to Remembered.
And let's go ahead and make that one bold as well. So now we see when the user of this app gets out of the car, using our example we've already talked about, they can click record my current location. When they get done with the concert or the sports event or whatever they're attending, then you can click the show directions from current to remembered button, and the Google map will show up taking them right back to their vehicle. Now I'm going to go change all of my component names here, and when you get to the end of the video, just go ahead and pause that, and that way you can look at the names I've given all these components, and you can match that up when you create your app. Alright, we're back, and before I show you what I renamed all these components here on the right side, I do want you to add a couple more components. Uh, we want to add a tiny database component. We want to go over to the sensors drawer and add a location sensor component. And we want to go to the other stuff drawer and add an activity starter component. Now, making sure we have our activity starter highlighted, we do need to add the action activity class and activity package. And just so you know, what you're going to see me type in here is actually case sensitive. So you need to use capital letters when I use capital letters here. So for the action, we're going to say android.intent.action.view. And again, view does need to be capitalized. For our activity class, we're going to type in com.google.android.apps.maps. And for the activity package, it's going to start the same. We'll put in com.google.android.maps. Dot maps activity. And now that we've got those all set, let's take a look at what I've renamed the components. So we've got our current header label right there. We've got our horizontal arrangement. We don't need to rename those. We've got our current address label there, current address data label, and then we've got a GPS label, current lat label. We've got a comma label and current long label. Long stands for longitude. And then we've got our remember button. Then we've got our remembered header label. We've got our remembered address label. We've got our remembered address data label. And if we come down here, we've got our remembered GPS label. We've got our remembered lat label. We've got our remembered comma label remembered longitude label, and our directions button.